There are many different ways you might begin an OET role play. It depends on the scenario, the context, and even how the patient's feeling. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can use the role card to decide how to begin the role play with my easy strategy. Let's go. Hello, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET premium preparation providers. If you're studying for your OET, you're in the right place for success. Before we jump into today's video, I'd like to make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and that you've checked out our website. We've got loads of great preparation courses to help you with OET success. Let's begin the video. Let's start by looking at this roll card. We can see from the setting that you're working in a medical clinic. Then we can see the information next to the nurse. It gives us a description of background and current information. We can see all the tasks that you need to complete. All this information is important as it will help you understand how to begin the role play. So how do you do this? Let's take a look now. Use your preparation time effectively. Read the setting, description and tasks to help you decide how to begin the role play. Make notes and be ready to start with a confident introduction. So let's take a look at some different ways a doctor might begin a medicine role play. Ask the patient the reason for their visit. For example, hello, I'm Dr. Jones. So what brings you here today? This would be appropriate if you're meeting the patient for the first time. Refer to the patient's notes. Hello, I'm Dr. Jones. I can see from my notes that you're experiencing severe pain in your tummy. Is that right? This might be something you would say if you were working in A&E. You also might have requested a consultation. So tell the patient why you've asked to speak to them. For example, hello, I'm Dr. Jones. Thank you for coming to see me. So I'd like to talk to you about your recent blood tests, if that's okay. Or you can also acknowledge that the patient has requested to speak to you if appropriate. For example, hello, I'm Dr. Jones. I understand you'd like to speak to me. And now let's take a look at some nursing examples. Ask the patient the reason for their visit. For example, hello, I'm Sarah, one of the nurses at the clinic. What can I help you with today? You might refer to the patient's notes. Hello, I'm Sarah, one of the nurses at A&E today. I can see from my notes that you were admitted last night due to an asthma attack. Is that right? A nurse may also tell a patient why they have asked to speak to them. For example, hello, I'm Sarah. Thanks for coming to see me today. So I've asked you to come to show you how to use your new inhaler, if that's okay. You may also acknowledge that the patient has requested to speak to you. Hello, I'm Sarah, one of the nurses on duty. I understand you'd like to speak to me? So let's take a look at that in action. Look at this roll card. The setting is a medical clinic. Here is the information about the patient who's about to start insulin injections and you're here to explain this to the patient. If we look at the first task, we know that we need to confirm the reason for the visit and find out how they feel about it. So we could say, hello, I'm Jackie, one of the nurses here today at the clinic. You've been asked to see me today so that I can show you how to give yourself the injections. How do you feel about it? Now look at this task. Look at the setting, description and first task. How would you start the role play? Pause the video and let me know in the comments below. So here we have an example of what you could say. Hello, I'm Jackie, one of the nurses here on duty at the hospital today. I can see from my notes that your daughter was admitted with breathing difficulties. That must have been quite scary. The empathetic phrase here acknowledges that this must have been a frightening experience for the mother. Let's take a look at one more. Look at the setting, description and first task. How would you start the role play? Pause the video and let me know in the comments. So what did you think? 
You could say, hello, I'm Jenny, the community nurse. I've come to assess your partner. Is it okay if I come in? It is a home visit, so the nurse asks permission to enter the home. So what can you do to improve this part of your OET speaking? Let's have a look. It's a good idea to create a language bank. So you have a variety of appropriate phrases to start your role play confidently on the day of the exam. It would also help you to look at sample videos and role play cards so that you feel comfortable and confident with a variety of settings and situations. And finally, it's essential that you practice. You need to be able to use the right language in real time. So remember that practice makes perfect. Top tips for beginning the role play. Use your preparation time effectively. Notice the setting, description and the first task. Look for information about how the patient is feeling and be ready to start. Okay, a bit more practice for you now. Imagine you're working in a day procedure unit at a hospital, patients about to have a colonoscopy procedure and you are there to explain what's going to happen. How would you begin that role play? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to boost your OET preparation, do check out our website. We've got a variety of packages available. We've got one month and three month subscription to our digital courses, as well as one-to-one -one tuition. So do check out our website or explore the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, share this video so we can help more people pass the OET exam. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, I'm Jo from Before we jump in, was that what I was supposed to say then? <laughs> so what can you do? We've got one month, three month subscriptions, um, one to one tuition, check out. <laughs> do it again.